Hi, welcome to GTS Distribution's Come and Play Day here in Seattle. My name is Rodney Smith from Watch It Played, and I'd like to invite you to join me as we take a look at one of the many games being featured here at this event. So let's go into the Watch It Played room and see what's on the table next. All right, everyone. Well, now we are joined by Jules Vautour of Asmodee. Hi, Rodney. How are Hi. you? I'm doing great. And I'm really excited because you've got something new to show us here, right? We, yes, we do. We uh, have one of the Spiel de Jar nominees this year. Right. Um, this is the European box. It's Augustus. Yes. Uh, we will be releasing the American version um, at Gen Con. And it'll simply be the same components that we see here today. However, the name will change to Rise of Augustus. Okay. There'll be a few changes on the insert and whatnot, but the gameplay, the components, and everything else stay the same. same the game stuff. is done by Hurricane. Okay, excellent. Well, so tell me a little bit about the game setting. Like, what's the theme here? So the game setting is uh, we are senators in Rome, and uh, our goal is to become the principe of, of the Senate. And right. so the way we do this is by controlling provinces on the cards and completing objectives on, on some of the cards. And the way you do this is by completing with the town crier, which we'll get to in a little while, Yes. Um, the uh, criterias on the cards, which are based on the tokens that are here in front of us. So these symbols that we see here on these tokens match the different combinations of symbols we're seeing on Correct. these objects. Okay. And so in the game, depending on the token value, uh, you have a little player aid here. And what this does is it shows you the frequency of each token. So some are much rarer than others and make it a lot more difficult uh, to complete the objective. Sure. Okay. And hence, it changes the point values and the value of the card itself. Okay. The goal of the game and how we accumulate points pretty much is through your objective cards, which are in front of us here. Right. And then you have the special tokens, which are laid out in front of us. Um, the gray tokens will be either if you collect three provinces of one color, or if you collect uh, one of each color plus a senator, that will allow you to accumulate the okay. cards that are here. The gray ones are special because you can collect more than one in this category. However, these on this bracket here, um, yeah. what it is is it's the amount of objectives you've completed as we're playing. Once you complete the objective, if you lose that objective later on during the game, yes. you still get to keep that token. Okay. okay. So the interesting thing about these though, however, is as I'm playing along, if I choose this one, which is four, and it shows three completed objectives, I can no longer go forward and choose the higher point values. So it's, it's a decision mm. that has to be made while you're playing, whether right. you think you're going to be able to complete more, or do I just play it safe and take them now? So as soon as I have four completed objectives, I don't have to take this token. I can wait. Try you to can, get to six. You can and exactly, and then take the ten point card. Okay. So, gotcha. but once you've taken one, there's no going back. Right. Okay. So the last objectives. Uh, these are the resource objectives. Um, you'll see, like on this card here, there is wheat. Yes. And so whoever has a completed objective in front of them and has the most wheat will take this card, and it'll be worth five points at the end of the game. Okay. However. If someone was to tie you, not necessarily surpass, but just tie, they then take control of the weak card, and I would have to tie them to take it okay, back. Okay, okay. So this will change hands back and forth during the gameplay? It play? changes hands quite often okay. during gameplay, and there are two of them. One is the wheat, and yeah. the other one is the gold, and they're worth five points at the end of the game. Okay. And so the last thing I think we need to see is each player starts with right. seven legionnaires, which we are going to use to control our areas during the game. And the way the game components work is you have these tokens, which we put in a bag, and there's a town crier. The town crier then calls out these tokens, and once we do that, say I reach into the bag and I sure. draw one, um, I would say cross swords. I then take one of my legionnaires, and I would put it on the matching symbol on the card. And once this is filled up, my objective will be completed. Okay. Um, if I use all my legionnaires and say they're on here, I can take one and move it over to the matching symbol instead. So it becomes sort of a uh, worker placement management system in, in its own way, mixed with, you know, just uh, kind of like a bingo style. So, so you get started on one path and then you feel like, okay, this worker would be better, this legionnaire would go better over here, I can maybe complete this, exactly. shift them over. Or if other players are trying to complete, you know, one of these bonus tiles, you may want to adapt your strategy as you're playing along to try to complete something else to get the card first. Okay, exactly. And so that's pretty much the simple gameplay. Um, 
where the components get really interesting or the mechanics of the game get really mm. interesting is as we complete these objectives, um, they all do special abilities. So for example, if I was to complete the objective of the Senator, um, I would get three points, which is the value of the card at the end of the game. Right. Plus, once it's completed, I then go into the pool of Legionnaires and draw two more. It makes it a lot easier for me to manage the game. And this is indicated by the symbols here, right? Exactly. So plus two Legionnaires. And so, in the game itself, you have all the symbols explained to you here. So, you can use this as a player aid while you're playing. Right, just the one sheet laying here. Okay. Exactly. And so, you know, it's pretty intuitive. Um, the symbols are very clear. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if you've got one soldier and it's red, you're removing stuff and right. penalizing your opponents. And then some of them will give you straight up bonuses and sequential bonuses at the end of the gameplay as well. Now when you were laying things out here, we kind of set things up for the space for two players, but how many people can play this game? Uh, you can play two to six players actually. Okay, and if the players know the game reasonably well, they know the rules, Right. What, what's the, the game length would you say? Um, I would say on average once you've played it, you can play it in pretty much 30 minutes. Oh wow, yeah. okay. So it's, it's, it's a light game um, with a lot of strategy involved. Um, you know, it fits the feel of the spiel jar. It's family oriented yes. with strategy involved, and there's a little bit of luck. So, uh, whether it's the card drawing, the tile drawing from the bingo bag, um, it you you have to manage your luck in this game, and that's right. what makes it really interesting. And the replay value is really high because you have so many objective cards, and the combinations that come out every game are completely different. Right. So. So a different experience. Exactly. Yeah. So you know we. It's definitely an enjoyable game, yes. um, and uh, everybody that's played it so far from on our end, uh, we've had nothing but positive feedback on it, so we're very pleased to present this. Well, let's say people watch and like what they see. Yep. Where can they get some more information about it? Um, so you can visit the Esmaday website right. at um, esmaday.com. Um, you can also visit our Facebook page, and then you know you can also go to your regular forums like Watch a Play, Board Game Geek, sure. all those areas. And um, yeah, um, and there'll be more information to come out as the game gets closer to release date. Okay. Well, listen, I, I really appreciate the time taking the time to share this information with our viewers. Real, real pleasure. So, thank you, and thank of course, you. thank you. Thank you.